myself to Ryan Rhodes. Ryan is the coach manager of Sam O'Mazon, English super lightweight champion. Coming down to London at York Hall, March 16th, to take on K Prosper. Big fight for you, man. Very big fight, uh, very big fight, and it's a fight we're looking forward to, and it's a fight we're training, training hard for. We know we can't cut no corners, we know we can't make no mistakes, and we know we've got to get it right on the night. Um, I've done done quite a lot of research on K Prosper, and uh, he's a good fighter. Uh, he knows how to how to handle himself, and he knows how to conduct himself. So I'm expecting a good fight. Yes, yeah, so, I mean you've been struggling to get fights with Sam, haven't you? It's difficult, you know. It's it's very difficult. I, I thought becoming Sam becoming English champion that it would open a few doors for Sam and we'd get, we'd get the phone, uh, we'd get phone calls for, for people offering uh, to fight Sam, but it's been the opposite. It's been so difficult trying to, trying to match Sam up. Um, reasons, I ain't got a clue. Um, I'd like to think that Sam's a very, very good talent, which I believe he is. I think he, he's got great potential and you know he can go he can go far in the game and that's what I'd like to think that why the phone calls not being yeah. not being coming and uh, and why Sam's not being getting the fights but listen it happens in boxing you just got to keep in the gym you just got to keep focused and and train hard and and uh, and disciplined and 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 doors will eventually the phone will go and the, the doors will open is there a risk that he would have stagnated stalled just from not having the the appropriate fights at his stage the one thing with Sam is he's very dedicated, very disciplined. Um, Sam's been lucky, lucky enough not not to not to work. He's, he's had a couple of great sponsors what have supported Sam throughout his career. Um, so he's always in the gym. It's it's me basically, you know, telling Sam, you know, have tonight off. You've you've had a good couple of weeks training and you've had a good good sparring session. So have tonight off. So that's. That's the good thing, and that's where I, I don't think Sam uh, has lost focus and lost lost track on, on where he needs to be. So, you know, we got this fight. Steve uh, obviously won the purse bids for this fight. That's why we're down London on the uh, 16th of March. Your call, the famous your call. Yeah. What a venue. I boxed there a couple of times myself, and it's 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 going to be a great fight. It's going to be a great fight, and, and like I said, we're not cut, we're not going to be cutting our corners. We're going to make sure we 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 train hard and we're disciplined, and we're we're going to we're going to enjoy the night. The two lads, when I've sat with them, have said that they're going to go and meet in the centre of the ring, happy to stand and have it out with one another. Is that music to your ears, or does that ring alarm bells? That isn't Sam's game. No, um, again, Sam's. I, I have to, you know. Put the reins on Sam a little bit, you know. Sam, Sam can punch, and I try to, you know, tell him to use his boxing brain because he's got a great boxing brain. You know, he was down at the Ingles for for a good 10, 11 years before before he joined me. So he's got a great a great boxing brain. But Sam can punch, and he likes to have a fight. So me hearing that, that they both said they're going to meet in the centre of the ring and, 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 and have it out, uh, it doesn't surprise me, but I'll not, like, I'll I'll like, it, yeah, I'll not allow Sam <laughs> just to stand in the middle of the ring and have it out uh, with Kay. So, but it's it's going to be a great fight. Um, Steve put some big cards on. Uh, I think at the minute there's about 16, 17, 18 yeah fights on this card so you getting value for money great value for money and and three ten rounders i think on the night including including sam's fight yeah um and does it bother you this away from sheffield no 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 it don't bother me and it don't it definitely don't bother sam we go away sparring all the time i know sparring's different to, to fighting but when you're away sparring in different gyms and you're sparring different fighters you you become used to being away from from your own surroundings, being yeah. away, being in your own gym, and, and and being being away from your own surroundings and people around you and everything like that. So we do it all the time. We take Sam sparring. Uh, we go to Steffi Bull's gym. Uh, Sam had some great rounds uh, late last year uh, with Lewis Ritson. We was going up to up to up to, up Newcastle. to Newcastle. Yeah, Lewis were coming down to our gym, so we we had some great rounds. Um, 
So it doesn't bother me. Um, we bring in probably around 30 or 40 fans uh, down to London uh, to the Yo Call and uh, they'll be making themselves heard on the night. In for experience. Yeah. In terms of coaches, there's yourself and Xavier Miller, um, two relatively young kind of upcoming coaches. Is it anything, have you, do you study Xavier's fighters styles or just Kay in particular? No, I've been looking at Kay in particular. I mean, uh, what his other fighters do, I don't think that comes into into play. Uh, but I have been watching what Kay does, what he does right, what he does, what I think Sam can, uh, what Sam can capitalise on and what Sam can um, make Kay do. Because this is, it's not just about um, what Sam's doing it's about making K Prosper do things that he doesn't normally do yeah. and Sam's good at that uh, Sam's good with his with his feet he's good with his with his hand speed he's good with his power and um, so no I, 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 I'm just been looking at what K does and and, and and concentrating on that and and me and Sam's been talking on his way down we've just done nothing but talk about <laughs> about the fight coming up and um, and things like that so yeah. So you spotted deficiencies, flaws? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he, he will do with Sam. I yeah. mean, he'll look at Sam and, and and say Sam's makes a mistake doing that or makes a mistake, but it's all right on the outside looking in and, and, and spotting the mistakes. When you're in the ring and when you're chucking punches and when you're um, when you when you're under attack from from someone, it's it's totally different. Um, so we just got to go in with a game plan. What we think uh, will work for Sam and what we think will 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 you know, and still the English champion. Yeah. And then, what are your plans for Sam? If you assume that he's going to come through the fight, uh, is it to now try and secure those British title level fights for him? Yeah, I'd like to think you know we've we've been English champion for for it from April last year. It's been so difficult trying to make fights with opponents pulling out and or shows or, or being promised to fight on 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 shows and and it not happening. Uh, and I feel for Sam because, like I say, he's always in the gym. He's always training hard. And you know the one thing I've always tried to to tell Sam just keep training keep training that phone call will happen that door that door will open and you know when we when we when we're still English champion and we 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 defend the English title on the on the 16th um, I believe Sam more than de deserves a shot at the British champion whoever that may be at the time uh, he more more than deserves it yeah and do you think it's an advantage going into this fight with your own personal experiences of the big fight the European title fights, fighting a York Hall as a, a younger man. Um, do you think you can pass some of that on? Because York Hall's an intimidating atmosphere. It's you know it's, it's rubbish behind the scenes. The yeah, changing yeah. rooms are garbage. Yeah. You know you've seen all the changing rooms. Well, that's true. I'm sure. I'm sure that'll be uh, sorted by. Steve. We'll have to flick a coin with that one. <laughs> but, I mean, all those things. Can you pass that experience on to uh, to Sam? The only thing I can do is explain and and, and guide Sam. By, by talking about my experiences and, and, and I like to think that Sam does listen I know he does listen uh, but I'd like him to to understand and, and like I boxed three times I think at the York Hall I boxed once in the ABA finals I boxed one early part of my career as um, uh, as a professional and then I, I boxed Gary Wilkham down here uh, I, I beat Gary for the British title at York Hall Bethnal Green so I'll be giving Sam my experiences but giving him my experiences and, and let him experience himself um, hopefully it will help but we'll see I mean listen at the end of the day he's getting in that ring and, and that's what Sam loves to do he loves to get in that ring have a fight um, and 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 win. That's what Sam does. Do you think it'll benefit him his trip over to Spain where everything didn't go as planned, as hoped? The, I mean, we had a big, we had a, we had a long, long conversation about this, the fight in Spain. We got offered a great opportunity against a guy who was knocking everybody out. And when we sat down and looked at the guy, we we knew we thought we could be that guy. We 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 had we was positive and, and confident in going over to Spain and beating the guy. The guy. Now what happened were uh, we we were in the fight. We were beating the guy. 
uh, I think it was around six or seven. Sam knocked the guy out of the ring. Sam was winning on all score on all three scorecards. Sam knocked the guy out of the ring. The referee the referee gave the gave gave him a 20 count, 10 to get back into the ring, and then a standing a, a mandatory 10 count anyway. After that, after the, after he let the fight go on, Sam went in to finish. The sky, uh, Sam ended up back on the ropes. Basically, the opponent just closed his eyes and chucked one <laughs> hand over the top and caught Sam with a great shot. What you got to remember is the the kid could punch. The kid had only been distanced, I think, he'd lost one, but he'd been distanced about only twice and not 27 or 28 oppon uh, opponents are. I remember when Errol boxed Julian Jackson. Uh, Errol, <laughs> Errol beat Julian. I was there, 14, 13, 14 years old. I was over in in uh, Bella Medina when Errol boxed Julian, Julian Jackson, battered him, took him to school uh, for four or five rounds. The referee went to Julian Jackson's corner and said, "Look, you, you've got one, one, one more round." It looked like he got a, a, his eye was nearly closed. Um, obviously, after the fight, he got a detached retina. The referee knew. And basically, he went out and, and he caught her with that. And that's what happened with Sam. You know, he got he got he got touched with the unlucky stick in boxing. You can be winning for however long, twelve round five, but it's not over to the final bell. And and same what happened with Sam. You know, he was winning the th the six seven rounds, whatever it were. Knocked the kid out of the ring. Got back in, and the guy closed his eyes, chucked one over the top, and caught Sam. That's just boxing. You, you, like I say, it's, it's never over till till the final bell. Uh, but it was an experience. We took it. We uh, we dusted ourselves down. We got back into the gym. We came back, and then we won the English title. Those logistics of getting over to Spain and all the the travel and it would it make your call slightly less daunting? And Probably a little bit. I mean, we went over to Spain. We went over to um, to the kids' back backyard and and, and fought. And, and listen. You know, we're all, obviously we're going to K Prosper's backyard. Well, obviously, he's a Luton guy, uh, but we're going to the York Hall. We're in K Prosper's territory where he fights regular. Uh, but I'm, it's something I'm looking forward to, and, <laughs> and it's something Sam's definitely looking forward to. He just wants to get back in the ring and 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 have, and have a fight. That's what Sam's all about. Yeah. All right, March 16th. Get to see it. Your call. Goodwin Boxing Show. Uh, and get your tickets. Cause by the sounds of it, they're both looking forward to it. Absolutely, definitely. Yeah. Be a good night. Excellent. Take care. Thank you.